Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Olympia Rising. Starting in the middle of this boss fight, or oh, the very beginning of it, just to make sure my sound is actually working here. So we have Typhon, father of all monsters. And he has a lot of different patterns. And I have no idea how much health he has, or if his attacks are based on his health, or, uh, or what here. So this, this first one, uh, we cannot destroy red projectiles, and that's kind of what that's teaching you right here. That was actually, uh, I took one damage there, but that's actually really good. It's the best I've done this so far. You're gonna hear a lot of button mashing, I apologize. Unfortunately, we do have to double jump every time. It's actually very, very uh, tiring hand-wise to hit this guy. Take an extra damage there. I'm gonna wait at this now. All right, so he's gonna go into another pattern now where we're gonna have to use our flying mechanic or our um, combo mechanic to stay alive for a little bit. And these enemies will not damage you. There we go, made it through. Alright, so he's gonna have another pattern here with some, uh, I think it's orbs that spawn and we have to destroy. These will do damage, but they are destructible. Man. And this next pattern is uh, what killed me last time. He's gonna have high and low or, well, first of all, he's gonna do this. Yeah. So we gotta kinda, man, this is brutal. Made it through. Uh, unfortunately, I only have one health left at this point. So I don't know what his next pattern is gonna be. He might repeat now. I've never been past this point. This looks like he's gonna repeat. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the best at this one. or not dying on this. Ah, oh, that was one damage. Ooh, I wish he had a health bar because I, uh, I have no idea how far along I am on this. We might not have boss music again, which is unfortunate because the, the boss music is really good. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to. For the sake of the video, I might just, uh, quit the title screen each time just to make sure that we've got that, uh, that boss music there. Took a hit right off the bat here. That's pretty bad. I think his hands cause damage too, so it's kind of being careful. Maybe they might only cause damage when they're glowing red, though. And yeah, really, no real indication of how much health he has either is uh, definitely a, a difficult part of this. Don't really know how far along. Um, got a little momentum run there that caught me on his finger. All right, here we go. So we're gonna have the floating pattern next. Trying to do as much damage as possible. And these will respawn endlessly. Um, just gonna have to be careful here. Alright. Double jump. Double jump. Double jump. There we go. Made it through there without taking any damage. That's pretty nice. Uh, this next pattern, um, not sure I'm gonna be able to do it. Might just eat the damage. Uh, just try to do as much damage to him during this as possible, and then just eat the one damage, because it's really difficult to actually get through this. Wow, that actually did it, though. If I just stay put, that actually does it. That's kind of interesting. All right, now we're going to have this crazy, crazy pattern. Um, man, I, I really don't know the best means of getting through this, because you, you jump so high. All right, so now we're going to loop the pattern, I think, right? Or is there one more thing before this? Boy, I certainly hope he's almost dead, though, because, uh, my fingers are tired as hell. All this double jump. Oh, that was, that was some pretty nasty damage to take there. We are in the same patterns, though, so, I mean, if I can take only one damage per pattern on these, I might be okay. This one always catches me, though, just because, uh, the momentum she has running. I gotta be very, very careful here. Small steps. Almost too small of a step there. Alright, good. Made it through that pattern. So we have the floating pattern next, I believe. The flying pattern. Can't tell if he's looking damaged or if it's just my. Oh man, we got him. Woo! Oh man. 
Oh, that's what I uh, was Typhon. There was that little spirit. Oh no. Uh, hello, yes. I'm rich and life is great. Who needs gods and you've got money, baby? <laughs> Where's that purple haired girl is still around? I'm not rich enough. Yeah, they'd make a cute couple. Oh well, now that Haze is gone, I can finally eat something other than spore bore sandwiches. Jake's Cheese Emporium, here I come. I think Jake the Cheese Meister was, uh, someone in the town there. Paleozoic game. Very cool. I don't think I'll end up combining this into the previous uh, video. I'll probably leave this on its own. But uh, yeah, very cool little game. A couple of quirks to run out, or uh, to kind of program out there. But uh, very cool game. Again, you know, I can click on the link in the description below if you want to go buy it yourself. Five bucks. You know, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, and it was a Kickstarter game. That's cool. I remember playing the prototype of this uh, way, way back. Um, I actually thought it was a Game Jam game, not a Kickstarter prototype. But uh, it was just like one of the very early levels and kind of had the basic mechanics of it. I love the art in this too. Now, I know a lot of people are getting tired of pixel art and such, but I think it's super cool. There we go, beta testers and backers. Hmm, uh, Jill Gaynor there had uh, trophies next to her name. I wonder what that was all about. Maybe they were one of the top backers or something like that. Squid Hammer has a name for you. I am not in these credits, however. I would have backed this game, though, I have to say that. We'll probably be getting pretty soon. Starting in the fall, I might see a few games where I'm in the credits for backing on Kickstarter. I backed a fair amount of Kickstarter projects. I kind of believe in the platform, um, even though it has its ups and downs. But stuff like this, I totally would have been all over. I really like this art on the, uh, on the side, too. Makes me wonder if they had um, more story elements in mind, too, because it looks like there's a lot of potential lore and story um, behind all this, or, you know, more of this art that maybe they would have had interspersed throughout the game and things like that. I hope, too, that uh, these videos help more people discover it. I don't think it's gotten a lot of uh, popularity. I haven't seen a ton of people talking about it or playing it, but it's super cool. Yeah, there's that spirit of uh, Typhon there. Yeah, look at all these Kickstarter backers, so many. That looks like a little uh, layout of the levels there, so you can kind of see the whole... Uh, it's like a whole map there, based on the different levels. Some concept art for uh, Typhon there. Oh man, that's pretty powerful. It's just like the decapitated head of Typhon being stabbed in the forehead. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Is that actually all of the backers, though? No, I'm gonna let this play out. GameBot School LLC. Huh. I want these are just looping around, and that's gonna make me feel really silly, but I don't think they are. It's 
spices aren't in uh, alphabetical order or anything. Unless maybe there's an order by uh, backer level or something like that too. Oh hey, uh, Dark Fowl's X. That's um, I've covered a couple of his games before. Uh, he's the guy. He's made uh, he made Mystic Bell. He also made uh, Ultionus, and he's working on uh, Legend of Ia. He was a backer for this too. That's pretty cool. Very very nice guy. Daniel Byrne, that name sounds familiar too. Can't believe there's, these are still going. Jelly Paladin. All right. Pelagic Games. Well, keeping a lot of these names in mind as, I, as we go through here. I suppose I'll sign off here and uh, let these play out. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon with another series. We'll be continuing at the time I'm recording this. We'll be continuing uh, Hot of a Boyfriend over this weekend too. So if you've been watching that and like pigeons, then uh, look for that pretty soon. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.